In this video, we are going to explore an exciting new battery that is going to change the landscape of electric aviation. This battery is not under development, it is already here and is being tested by the Ministry of Defense in the UK. It is the aluminium air battery. Many of you who have been following the developments in the electric aviation world would know that several aircraft manufacturers with designs that are ready to take off have been waiting for the right battery. Some have pinned their hopes on the progress in lithium ion batteries, while others are waiting for solid state batteries to mature. But what if there is a battery that can provide them at least four times the energy density of the best battery currently in the market? Just imagine a flight time of an hour or more in a personal aircraft like the Jetson 1 and the Pivotal Helix and compare it to the 15 to 20 minutes of flying time that they have just now. This longer flight time would allow for these aircraft to be used not just for recreation, but for commuting, cargo transport, medical evac, etc. Likewise, the four-seater air taxis that at present cover a range of 60 to 100 miles could be used not just for urban mobility, but for regional flights. So in this video, we will explore aluminium air battery and how technological progress has finally unshackled the problems that bogged down this powerful battery. In the late summer of 2020, Elon Musk mentioned that he has a design for electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. He also opined that lithium ion batteries would need to reach an energy density of 400 watt hour per kilogram for the batteries to outperform the kerosene jet air fuel and for his electric plane to be viable. Since then, the world has been waiting for that magic number, that is 400 watt hour per kilogram, to be reached by batteries. If one has been following the lithium ion battery trajectory, they would know that the technology has almost plateaued at 300 watt hour per kilogram. There is some potential in lithium ion batteries that use silicon based anode and these lithium silicon batteries have been chosen as the way forward for the lithium jet. But there is time before a practical version of them is rolled out. There are also the solid state batteries that every now and then make a spectacular appearance and then immediately afterwards disappear. Another one on the fringes is the lithium sulfur battery that delivers over 400 watt hour per kilogram but does not last enough cycles. Moreover, it has expansion issues which prevent it as an alternative to lithium ion. Amidst these different batteries, there is one particular battery that gets overlooked but is perhaps one of the best solutions for electric aviation. It is the aluminium air battery. This battery has an energy density upwards of 1200 watt hour per kilogram with the potential of reaching 2000 watt hour per kilogram. Aluminium air battery is relatively unknown because so far it has not been considered as a contender to replace lithium ion which serves a variety of applications from electronics to EVs. Aluminium air battery has been around since the 1960s. It is an air-breathing battery that requires oxygen from the atmosphere so it cannot be used in space satellites. There are a few issues that have plagued its wider usage. The first and foremost fact is that it is non-rechargeable. Secondly, the electrolyte traditionally used has been toxic. Thirdly, the battery was expensive as it was tied to the price of aluminium and this battery consumes it. And the final issue restricting the feasible usage of the aluminium air batteries was the low life cycle efficiency. We will cover the issue of rechargeability later but over the decades the problems of toxic electrolyte and high cost have been alleviated through technological progress. The electrolytes are no longer toxic. Furthermore, these new non-toxic electrolytes do not require aluminium of very high purity and using the right aluminium alloys, the coulomb efficiency has been increased. But what about the fact that aluminium air batteries are non-rechargeable? Well, if swappable battery packs can be made, 
that is, used packs can be swapped with fresh ones, then this problem is somewhat addressed too. Aircraft fly port to port and fresh batteries can be replaced with ease at these stations when required. Using aluminium air batteries, a pack level energy density of 1300 to 1666 watt hour per kilogram is possible. The pack is safe and does not even require a cooling system. Just recall the value of energy density of 400 watt hour per kilogram for the EV toll aircraft stated by Elon Musk. This number is more than three to four times of that value. As the battery is used, the plates of aluminium alloy that act as the battery's anode gradually dissolve and form aluminium hydroxide. In the past, this byproduct has been difficult to recover. With new methods, it can be recovered and recycled to create aluminium again. With the recovery unit in place, the aluminium hydroxide will be removed, stored and replaced with fresh aluminium plates. The aluminium hydroxide may then be used as a fire retardant or smelted back into aluminium. Let's now look at aluminium air batteries specifically for aircraft application. As we all know, in aviation, weight is the biggest challenge that needs to be overcome. Electric aviation allows efficiency gains in propulsion through the use of distributed propulsion method, which is both costly and difficult to achieve using conventional fossil fuel technology. Distributed propulsion and high efficiency of electric motor reduces the disadvantage of batteries that carry much less energy compared to fossil fuels. At the end, the overall performance difference of a small-scale electric aircraft and fossil fuel aircraft is not that much. Let's unpack this concept further. Lithium-ion batteries have an energy density of just 0.9 megajoules per kilogram compared to 44 megajoules per kilogram of F gas. And yet, a two-seater aircraft has been developed with flight time of 1 to 1.5 hours using lithium-ion batteries, while similar F-gas aircraft offers only 3 hours of flight time. Thus, while there might be a difference of 50 times in energy density, there is only 2 to 3 times difference in endurance. What aluminium air batteries do is that they magnify the advantage of electric propulsion. Using them, an aircraft like Pipistel Valis Electro can have a flight time of over 6 hours. In the UK, Swift Aircraft, a two-seater trainer, has been looking to adopt them. From estimates, it was found that the Swift Aircraft with aluminium air battery pack could achieve a flight time of many hours at economical operating cost. The switch to aluminium air battery from an organization called MOL for the Swift two-seater trainer falls under the Project Monet of the Royal Air Force. Similarly, the Royal Navy is also looking at UAVs that will use aluminium air batteries for long endurance. MOL Research and Development Limited has been working on this battery for over two decades. MOL has informed that drone flight tests in the UK will be carried out in the quarter three of 2024 and are expected to achieve extremely high endurance of 15 to 20 hours using aluminium air battery bags. The batteries used have an energy density of over 1300 watt hour per kilogram and a power density of over 500 watt per kilogram and a volumetric density of over 700 watt hour per kilogram. Mall has also described that by integrating these batteries into the fuselage of the aircraft, the energy carrying capacity can be increased. Mall has also mentioned that the battery is fairly simple in its construction, a third of its weight being aluminium alloy plates, one third of the weight is the electrolyte, while the remaining third makes the structure. There are some key benefits of using aluminium air battery as compared to a lithium ion battery. This include firstly sustained power, that is no loss of power is witnessed with oxidation of anode. Swappability, which means quick turnaround time rather than waiting hours for aircraft to charge. Third is safety. 
Water-based electrolyte means that the pack is safe and thermal runaway is not an issue. Aluminium air batteries may be slightly more expensive to run, but they provide some key advantages that other batteries don't offer at this point in time. And for electric aviation, they cannot be overlooked because of their extremely high energy density. They may not be suitable for aircraft that require very high bursts of power for a short amount of time because of the lower power density that is around 500 watt per kilogram, but they are still a good option for small passenger fixed wing plane. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for all the latest developments. Thank you for your attention.